Hey guys, welcome back to Critical Flick. Today I'm going to be doing devs from FX on Hulu. So when I first saw that this miniseries was being directed and written by Alex Garland, I was really excited. He has done some of my favorite films in recent years, and Ex Machina might be one of my favorite films of all time. In this show, he's able to capture those same elements, that mixture of nature and technology, those big questions that arise from the advent of technology, how far we're willing to push it, and what it means to push it almost too far. And in doing this, he brought along his cinematographer, Rob Hardy, who also did Annihilation and Ex Machina. So you're able to capture those aesthetic elements very similarly. And it is a very distinct style that I personally really enjoy. And in this series, when you see them go into the devs headquarters, you can really see that on full display, going from this serene nature that has some sci-fi elements intertwined with the trees, then going into a very ultra modern facility with lights and just a lot of things that capture what you think of from him's filmmaking style. Another thing that's very reminiscent of his previous works is the score and soundtrack of the show so far and they're able to integrate almost a, an ethereal element to it that helps push along the narrative of this messiah complex that Forrest has as a CEO. You're seeing religious symbolism multiple times throughout the first two episodes, particularly with the halos on the trees. And without giving too much away, there is a scene that does have some ramifications of maybe miracles or religious events throughout history that may come into play in this series. And I'm really interested to see how that plays out because I feel like a main theme of this miniseries will be tech gurus or a tech company being pushed to its absolute limits and playing God in many ways. I think that's going to be the main moral arc of this series. And speaking of Nick Offerman as Forrest, I think he is a very well-written character and I do really enjoy the way that he's playing in this series. You can tell he's a character that has a lot of layers. He has a ton of ego as this huge tech mogul, but then he's very troubled deep at his core, and you can tell that this company that he has created, Amaya, is there to replace his daughter. It's named after her, and he cares about it very deeply, and this journey isn't about money anymore. He makes a reference to that. It's about kind of a mission, kind of an overarching thing he's trying to accomplish, and he's not willing to let anyone get in the way of that, and that's going to be an interesting concept. You obviously see that at the end of the first episode without giving anything away again, that he's not willing to let anyone get in the way. And I think that's going to create an interesting conflict for his character because it is a moral issue for him. His company isn't a company. It is an almost biblical mission. And speaking of the writing, like I said about the character, they're able to use this tech speak that is understandable but not too ridiculous it isn't too over the top or cheesy when they're talking about the different things that they're doing on screen so it works on that level it feels very real feels very tangible i think that's something that's very unique with alex garland's work he's able to take this near future sci-fi elements and it feels very real it doesn't feel like i'm watching something ridiculous over the top like a star trek or a star wars it is something that feels like it could happen today. It feels like it's something that could happen within the next 10 years or so. So you're far more invested into these characters because, you know, it could be a replication of what reality may bring. And as far as all the themes that are going on in this show, I think they've nailed a few of them really well so far. We obviously are dealing with the God complex and playing God as a tech company. You have some other ideas of maybe social constructs. You have the idea of the balance between government and private enterprise. I think they could explore that. You have some industrial espionage between countries. That's obviously an also an interesting thing there. So I, I want to know how they're going to work it all together because it does seem like a lot to tackle at one time. And the show is, I believe, only eight episodes long. So they're going to have a lot to accomplish. Sonia Mizuno, who's also brought over from Ex Machina, plays Lily in the show. And I think she's also done a pretty good job. I feel like we don't have enough from her character so far because she does feel very analytical. Someone who doesn't know how to handle these emotional situations that she's thrown in in these first two episodes. I'll be interested to see how that character plays out. As of right now, I'm not fully invested into that character, but I'm sure that will change as the series moves along. Another concept that this show tackles, and it's something that's brought up by Forrest multiple times in these two episodes, is the idea of free will and the idea of chance and that nothing is really up to you that happens in life and everything is predetermined everything is moved along by a course of events you are not making any decisions and that you can calculate what people will do and what they have done and that is going to be something i don't think i've ever seen in science fiction it's such a novel concept that you can predict the future go back to the past all through technology and it's not your simple time travel of jumping back to an event it's breaking down maybe in code or in nature's own code of how to get to these steps, get backwards and forwards, and I can't wait to see how they try 
to explain all that, as you saw in the first two episodes, they're probably going to have to unravel some of those really interesting concepts. What is the meaning of life and what makes up life in general? And like I said, the cinematography is excellent. This is definitely on par with his previous work of Ex Machina and Annihilation. It does have a similar look at times. I love the integration between the ultra modern futuristic looks. I do love that contrast between nature and technology. And he's always able to capture those two together so well. And this show really is about controlling the world and controlling technology in a way that you can kind of play God. And I can't wait to see how this is going to all unravel. All right, so those are my thoughts on the first two episodes of Devs. I definitely recommend checking it out if you enjoyed any of Alex Garland's previous work. So you do like that near future sci-fi, like something like Black Mirror or something like that. It has that vibe to it. So if my review is going forward, I think I'll dive more into the actual details of the story. I definitely want people to have an opportunity to check out the series before I jump into some of the major plot points, because it is a show that I really do want people to check out. So my next couple reviews, I'll dive more into what I think of the actual storyline of the show. So let me know if you watched the first two episodes of Debs, how you felt about it. Are you enjoying it so far? If you're someone who watched Alex Garland's previous works, do you like this as much as those? Give me your theories and thoughts. What do you think is going to play out throughout this series? So again, thanks for watching. Remember to like and subscribe and see you next time. Mm -hmm.